Jeff with West Guy Designs. We've got this 2023 TRD Pro Solar Octane 4Runner. Uh, we've done some stuff to it now, um, to kind of share some of the stuff we've done to it. We've taken this on some road adventures. We went up to Moab with Toyota with this thing. Uh, got to really kind of see what this thing would do, what it was capable of. I think we just finally got all the dirt off of it between Moab and up to Overland Expo and Flagstaff. So I would say probably the coolest thing about it, which has a little wind noise now because we always focus on, we don't want any wind noise. Uh, and that's the go fast camper, but that's my favorite part of the deal because literally you can take that camper, you can close the camper and you can leave your sleeping bag in it and your, and your uh, I don't know, your mat and your, and your pillow and you can close it and you can open back up when you get back from the trails, close it back down, head back out to the trails the next day. So it's super convenient, super watertight. Um, you know, I have to say, I like a lot of things about this truck. My wife thought, Jessica, which we talk about her once in a while, not very often, because she's behind the scenes. Um, the Solar Octane, she didn't like it at first. I kind of liked it because it was super just wow, pop, the color pops and everything contrasts really well with it. Um, now she has uh, uh, become very fond of it now. Um, but we've tied a lot of the colors in when we built this truck and we've got more stuff we're doing to it. But, you know, we did this full carbon C-Bond hood on this and just the contour between the two colors and then the contour on these uh, SES wheels. BR6s uh, we did on this and this is a negative 10 on this, a 17 by eight and a half. Uh, this has our new lift kit in it, uh, which will be on the website here soon. I know people have been asking about it. When is that thing gonna be available? How am I gonna get it? When am I gonna get it? This lift kit here on this truck is basically our two inch. So it's already got one inch from the factory with the TRD Pro lift on it. And then we added another full two inches to it. Our other lift that we have on our website is between one six and one seven. Uh, it depends on taking measurements and stuff on it. But uh, this lift works really well. Um, we got a little more clearancing on it. The other nice thing about it is, is that we're able to run a 285, 75, 17 on this setup on this truck. Um, we didn't have any fender rubbing front or rear on this. Uh, we haven't done a body mount chop, but then I went and uh, added a three millimeter front wheel spacer on it just to give it a little bit more stance in the front of this truck. And just from adding that three millimeter spacer, I now rub back here in the back on the body mount. Made the decision that I'd rather have it rub there. We'll probably just trim the body mount on it and make it look factory like we do on our body mount chops. Um, these new Toyo Open Country, the RTs, uh, these are the trail edition ones. Uh, really nice tire, they ride really good. Um, they've got about 4,000 miles on them now. Um, they, not a lot of cupping at all on them, so they work really well with that. This has got a set of rigid, uh, these are the 360 lights, the four inch ones, uh, kind of tie into the car, not too aggressive on the look of it. And if you look up really close on it, we actually did mapping on here to kind of tie into the mapping on the side and the mapping on the visor on here. And I'll pop open the tent for you too. And we actually did the mapping on the top of the tent as well, just so this all kind of ties in and all the grays tie into the wheels and some of the grays tie into the stripes on the back. And then some of the carbon fiber striping tie into the wheels and then the striping in the side. So all the little detail things that we did on this truck, it's just what we're all about. We're all about making really high end stuff and building stuff that all ties in everything together and there's a purpose we do everything for so um, i'm going to talk about the sliders these sliders that we make these are a set of our no kick out zero degrees actually we did these in mig weld and i tried to make it so you could still see the welds through them because our powder coat's so thick it's kind of hard to see the uh the beads how they're laid down on the on the sliders but on these sliders this is actually a primer coat so when someone says hey when you guys do your sliders, you know, I, I know they're texture finish. Well, this, I did this here in the primer coat. And the reason I did this in the primer coat was really just to show customers just what is underneath our powder coat on our texture finish powder coat. So this is right here. This is our primer coat, no kick out, top plate, MIG welded DOM sliders. So this is our low profile roof rack. We had to make all the mounts. These are some that's, uh, um, uh, uh, GFC cells right here, but these mounts here, we made these mounts and made a mount into the bottom of theirs and then to our crossbars on this. I uh, just made it sit up just a little bit off the top, but we made the brackets front and back to work on that. 
This is, like I said, it's the low profile, so we try to keep it really nice and tucked. We slid it forward just enough so we could clear the ladder when the back's open, and then it hangs just over the front. Our plan is actually on the front of the visor here is actually to do the lights and make some mounts that'll mount the lights down here, out projecting out here without actually having any takeaway from the uh, camper here. Um, and we can still try to keep them really nice and tucked in so it looks like symmetrical to the truck. Um, the mapping on the side here, I had people say, where'd you get that mapping on the truck? Uh, how did you design it? Whatever this and that. This is actually Telluride. These are some of the trails that are in Telluride. It's very special because it's my favorite place to go. It's my wife's favorite place to go. This was our very first trip that we ever took together uh, when we met um, was to Telluride. So these are some of the trails that we've done up there. Um, super, if you haven't been in Telluride, you should check it out. And if you haven't been on some of the trails up there, some of the trails are epic. So um, we got a little damage on the back wheel here. I, I kind of went intentions that I wasn't gonna tear this car up at all when we went up to Moab, but then uh, we got out there and we started hitting some of the trails. Um, one of them, uh, Poison Spider, uh, that was probably where uh, a lot of this uh, took place uh, for the damage. But um, I would tell you it, the damage was well worth the, 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 the views and to experience what these trucks are capable of. Um, when we went up there with Toyota, just seeing what the stock configurations and just lifts and just little things on this, what these trucks were capable of was pretty awesome. But got a little damage on the bead ring. Uh, now she's got a little more character to her. Um, that was a couple rocks. And then uh, back on the back corner here is probably the best one. The back corner here we got, uh, we came off a ledge and it skidded down here. It actually got the, the ring down here, the tow hook. It actually got caught on something. I had to like drag itself off of there and then the bumper here, the cover. And uh, I will tell you this, I'm not sure if the rack helped it or hurt it, but it definitely, with the rack on there, definitely was one of those things uh, that we used it to bounce ourselves off of things. Um, we were able to use it to kind of skid off of rocks and then off the back of it. And it really helped a lot. It would skid on the corners of the bolts here on both sides, which I don't want to, I won't tell you that I think it was a bad thing. I think if anything, it was a good thing um, because otherwise I think it literally would have ripped up the back of the bumper on this truck. Um, we just talked about in another video uh, about our hitch mount rack. Uh, this puts it in good perspective for you. Uh, this is one of our modular racks. This is our new design that came out uh, the end of last year. Uh, beginning of this year was when we really started pushing these or selling them to the public. Uh, we had made some revisions to it before we decided we were going to release these things because we wanted to make sure that there was no other rack on the market that was like it or no other rack that was comparable to it. Uh, the nice thing about this rack is I got the spare tire over on this side. I got the camera here. I got the spare tire on this side. But I can take this spare tire and take the mount and I can move it over to this side and I can take these gas cans and put them over on that side. Or I could configure this different ways. I could do this with a table on this side, a grill on this side. Um, I could put jerry cans on here if that's what I wanted to do. Um, I felt like configuring it this way. Uh, one, because the driver's side's here. The, when I'm looking over my shoulder to, take, to look out the back window, I now have the tire back here instead of out here. So it makes it a lot easier for me to look over my shoulder here and see that there's nothing in the way over here. Um, and then the nice thing is, is that our, our way that this is mounted here on the back, That swings out like that. And then there's lock here. I can set it at four different positions for lock. But there, as we talk about, these arms lift off the vehicle here. And this lifts off here. I can, I can get this in different configuration. I can get this so it slides farther out, farther in, depending where I want this located on whatever vehicle I want to put it on. This is designed so it works on any vehicle with a trailer hitch. And there again, we talk about how your approach angles. This hitch, if it was directly in line where the trailer hitch is, it would be down here. But because now we've welded this and designed this so it's up on top of here, it gives us more approach angle going through things. This piece that goes across the top here, it has two ears on it that slide these arms onto it. We actually machine this out of billet aluminum, or actually billet steel, not aluminum, but billet steel to make sure that this thing is as strong as possible on what we're using it for, because we do not want to have this thing fail on the car. So our ladder, we've been selling these ladders for a lot of years now. 
Um, they're quite popular, they're quite strong. People say to us, oh, how strong? And I show you in other videos that actually we put the car up on top of it just to show how strong the ladder really is. It literally is strong enough that it'll support the car underneath the tire. So 1,500 pounds, I know the tailgate doesn't hold 1,500 pounds, but it holds 1,500 pounds. So, because we've had the car on it and that's what the front tire weighs, just because I've weighed it. So, uh, you know, the way this configured, like I said, you can configure this however you want to configure it. Um, I'm gonna throw open the tent real quick, and then I'm gonna show you the front of the, the tent, because it's really cool if you can see the mapping on it as well. But it's super easy on this, the way it works, is I just pull this locking pin on the side here, I release it there. Pull the locking pin on that side, and I flip this up. It's got nice nitrogen shocks on it to allow it to go up. And then the mapping here, the mapping on the visor, and then maybe you can see the mapping up here on the top of it. But it's all, that's the complete map of Telluride there. And it all, it follows the lines. If you see the lines, they flow directly from the top, it's clear down onto the visor, but everything is exactly designed so it all ties in together. So I got one other thing I wanna share with you on this truck. These trucks, I would tell you, normally are underpowered. And this one is not underpowered. I won't tell you it's overpowered because you can never have enough power, but it's definitely got more power. So this has the Magnuson supercharger on it and it works really well. It runs on 91 octane fuel. Uh, it has its own tune that comes with it. Um, just to hear the wind of it when you're under acceleration is super cool. Um, I think with everything that we've got going on here and all the added weight and the aerodynamics that we've lost with the tent and stuff like that and the larger tires on this, um, you know, all this little, all these little things really tie in to help that supercharger uh, take play in this whole thing. Um, we talked about the suspension. I didn't mention in the back, but it has a two inch Icon rear spring in it. Uh, we actually ran on this truck just for the added weight or when we switch up the weight, depending on how we're configuring the truck. It actually has a Firestone airbag that I did inside the rear springs. And when we, the reason we did that is so depending on what we're gonna add and what we're gonna take off or whatever, I can offset the truck with those airbags. And those airbags are great because I can take those airbags that are on this truck um, I can completely deflate those airbags on this truck and when I deflate them, it doesn't affect the off-road capability or the way the truck drives on the off-road situation. So uh, I wanted to share that with you. Um, pretty much kind of wraps it up with this truck, but uh, if you guys have any questions on that and uh, anything about it that you want to know more about, we'd be happy to share it with you. Again, we thank you guys for watching. Take care, bye-bye.